because I was looking for some things to confirm my understanding of Fibonacci series and then ran into things like, ah, that's not true. And lo and behold, I've got to, I've got to retract some of my own understanding. So it has been a science experiment for me and it's been great. And, um, you know, I hope you guys do the same thing. So make sure you don't get your uh, science from places like this. <laughs> Actually, Da Vinci Code is, is one of the culprits for uh, promoting this idea that the golden ratio is you know the divine ratio all throughout nature and and in uh, Greek architecture and things like that. It does show up in places, as I said. Da Vinci did use it in some of his drawings. Uh, it's in the it's in uh, Michelangelo's Finger of God painting, um, but it's not it's not under every rock, right? So here's uh, four sources. The top two are going to give you a lot of information that points to the math behind Fibonacci. The Fibonacci series, the golden ratio. Uh, there may be some statements on there, especially this first one. You get a free ebook, which um, I did not get to compare all the uh, facts in it, but um, it, it's a it's a it's a foundation that promotes the understanding of the Fibonacci series. Uh, but you're going to see some things on there that are going to say uh, that are going to be debunked by what we talked about tonight. These last two, for sure, are going to be the opposite side of that. And you know that's that's fair to read. We should we should consider all sides. We're trying to make some conclusions about Fibonacci numbers and other sequences in nature. All right. Well, I am officially done, and can take. You had a question.